Now this Washington date. He did quite a bit of those things by himself going out. And he never got there in time to rehearse. So he'd walk in cold and hear what they were doing and he would just join right in as if he had been playing with them for weeks. When they would modulate or change keys, he heard for a minute where they were going and then his instinct and his great ears would take him to the right place. It was amazing. I've seen him and heard him do that many times in different situations. This particular situation was great because it was a big band and it's a little harder to do it with a big band playing in between the lines than it would be with a small band where the pianist can just think you where you have to go if you don't know where you're going. Well, for example, in the arrangements there are spaces. If there's no comping and he doesn't know it, he doesn't know where it's going. But in a small band, if it's new to him and he hasn't played it before and he doesn't know where it's going, the piano player can always give you some accompaniment to take you to where you're going. And someone with his great ears and instinct had no problem. It was always amazing to me to see how he overcame all of these little difficulties. My three years with his quintet were like going to graduate school.